Company Bay Systems has received a contract modification from the Swedish Defense Materiel Administration FMV, to build an additional 20 CV-90 Mjolnir mortar systems. The approximately US$30 million contract was awarded to Bay Systems Sweden's joint venture, HB Utveckling AB, which combines Bay Systems Haglund's and Bofors production capabilities. Production of the mortar carriers will be carried out from the Bay Systems Haglund's manufacturing facility in Ornskoldsvik, Sweden. The original contract for 40 CV-90 Mjolnir systems was awarded back in 2016, and system deliveries started in 2019 and were completed on time for 2020. Furthermore, in February 2022, FMV awarded the first follow-on contract for an additional 20 systems, as well as an upgrade of the 40 systems already in service, integrating the new C4 ILSS Mark system. After the delivery of contract modifications is completed in 2025, the Swedish Army will operate a total of 80 CV-90 Mjolnir mortars in its fleet. Also known as the Grenat Kastar Panzerbandvan 90, this vehicle provides indirect firepower capability for mechanized brigades on the battlefield. The CV-90 Mjolnir was built using the CV-90, Combat Vehicle 90, tracked combat vehicle platform which has specifications of a weight of around 37 tons, a length of 6.5 meters and a width of 3.1 meters. It has a maximum speed of 70 km per hour and an operating range of 320 km. Millimeters self-propelled mortar system. It was developed in Sweden by Bay Systems Haglunds. It integrated a new Mjolnir turret with two 120mm mortars on a chassis of the CV-90 infantry fighting vehicle. In the northern mythology Mjolnir is the hammer of the god Thor, one of the most fearsome weapons capable of leveling mountains. This combination of a Mjolnir turret on the CV-90 chassis was adopted by the Swedish military. Production contract for 40 artillery systems was signed in 2016. Deliveries to the Swedish military commenced in 2019 and were planned to be completed in 2020. Its Swedish designation is the Granite Caster Panzerbandvin 90, or GRKPBV 90. These will be used in mechanized battalions to increase indirect fire support. More than a decade ago Bay Systems Haglunds developed another Amos mortar system with two 120mm breech-loaded mortars. It was a new generation weapon, designed for rapid rate of fire. Swedish military ordered two Amos systems on the CV-90 chassis, though there were no further orders. The Mjolnir is another attempt to create a close support weapon with a rapid rate of fire. Though it has a more simple design and is overall a less complicated weapon. As with the Amos turret, the Mjolnir turret can be integrated on other suitable wheeled or tracked armored vehicle. The Mjolnir turret uses two 120mm muzzle-loaded mortars. Mortars are loaded using a mechanical system. Though loading is only partially automated and involves manual labor. Still though the loader operates under armor protection. Maximum rate of fire is a whooping 16 rounds per minute. Rate of sustained fire is 6 rounds per minute. This mortar system is compatible with all standard 120mm mortar ammunition as well as smart guided ammunition including the Swedish Strix precision guided munitions. Standard shells have a maximum range of up to 9km. This system can also use extended range shells that give a maximum range of 13km. The Strix guided munitions have a range of 5km. A total of 104 mortar shells can be stored inside the vehicle. A total of 56 shells are stored in the turret bustle. Another 48 shells can be stored inside the hull. Mortars can be elevated to plus 85 degrees, though it seems that the turret traverse is limited to 60 degrees. In its basic form the Mjolnir turret provides protection only against 7.62 by 39 mm armor-piercing rounds and artillery shell splinter. Though it was designed to accept add-on armor kit for a higher level of protection. Enhanced protection is proposed as an option. The turret weight ranges from 6 to 8.1 T depending on protection level. The hull is of welded steel armor construction. It is claimed that front of the turret withstands hits from 30 mm armor-piercing rounds, used by the older Russian IFVs and ACVs. 
All round protection of the hull is against 14.5 mm armor piercing rounds. Vehicle withstand mine blasts equivalent to 10 kg of TNT. Furthermore, add-on ceramic armor kit can be fitted for the hull for all round protection against 30 mm armor piercing rounds. It also further improves protection against blasts and improvised explosive devices, than 2 minutes to open fire and less than 1 minute to leave the firing position. Brief reaction and redeployment times become extremely important in modern combat where artillery radars and counter batteries are widely used. A demonstrator of the CV-90 Mjolnir carried no defensive weapons. Though a roof-mounted machine gun or remotely controlled 550 horsepower. It seems that with some preparation this armored vehicle is amphibious.